Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode on Kabbalas, and uh, <laughs> finally took a look inside the bee house, and that is a big bee. Also, it's now nighttime. Uh, but yeah, finally got some sugar cane growing, and it's making this type of honey. Spoils in 20 minutes. So, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll go over what's behind me here in a second. Oh, it finally shows up at nighttime. Uh, Eco's shop decor has different signs for buildings and whatnot. And this is impossible to read during the day. Actually, I am gamut up, so... Yeah. Very, very shadowy. So, I wanted to go farming. Oh, I don't have access to it yet. Mm. Dang. I was going to see if I could use it to make a beehive from a... Nominal structures, but uh, yeah. So I got some, some street lights out so we can see a little bit better what's going on. And went ahead and got myself a farm going. So I mean, it's just the basic, you know, wood foundations. And then underneath it, let's see, there's a little bit you can still see here. Uh, this little stripe here, this is a custom. Foundations from uh, Eco's Garden Decor. And it's got the mud texture on it, and then I just stacked a whole bunch of the medium crop plots on top. Yeah, decorative floor is what it's called. There we go. And vanilla crops take forever to grow. Um, also, just to uh, hide that. There we go. There's no actual pipes in here. Everything's being taken care of by the scarecrow. But uh, it took him a little while. I had to kind of like prime the system first, so to speak. All right, we got more sugar in here. Eh, a little bit. There we go. And I've got the first workers on my farm here. I've got, got a farmer. And I've got a gardener. So... He drinks Kalyan soup, distributes fertilizer for me. He drinks beer and harvests everything for me. So, fun times there. I mean, she's harvesting everything. She's got to reach out to where she can hit that mushroom farm over there, which is kind of handy. Uh, but we're getting just all sorts of good stuff here, including turnips. I've got at least one of every crop in here, though. And, uh, means we can start making some of the stuff. Uh, I put this down to put the foundations underneath it, and now I can't access it. <laughs> Dang it. And, yeah. I, mean, I can try putting it back down, but it's just going to float. Uh, I did have su some success doing it like this. And I'm like, okay, well, that looks good. So I put foundations underneath it, and that's what borked it up. So, however, on the issue of floating, uh, the bee house is the same way. So, uh, it's a very early, uh, early beta version of the mod, so not surprised. All right, let's go ahead, though, and get our honey put away. So 15 minutes becomes 108 days. All right, let's get that stuff put away. And yeah, I'm doing a bit of stuff off camera. Mainly decorative and stuff like that. It's just making the place look nicer. Like I uh, got myself a spray gun. Oh, the, uh, the shimmer equus? They sparkle. <laughs> they, uh, they have this cloud of like glow flies around them, and three of them side by side. It's it's a pretty dense cloud. Uh, but in here, I've got most of my crafting stations so far. Got a fabricator, and I thought I was being smart. I put down, you know, one of the wind turbines. It ran for. 
about a minute after I put it down and then it stopped and it hasn't kicked back on yet. That I've noticed. So if I want to make anything with the uh, the fabricator, I'm going to have to use gas. Yeah, I got three polymer in. And, well, I made the spray painter, but yeah, I got three polymer in and it just powered down. It's like, God, dang it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, searchlights are going strong. You can actually see, like, the outer range of them. Where it just, like, stops, like, right there. Kind of interesting. Uh, I did... Uh, let's see, I've got some pretty good flak. I found a couple of yellow crates. Uh, yeah, 1100 armor ascended flak boots. That's kind of nice, actually. Uh, let's see, I've got a 700 armor hazard suit hat. Um... It's only going to require like 1,800 blue gems, though. You know, nothing major. And let's see. I got another... Well, I think we got that hat on camera. I did get some scuba stuff, though, too. Uh, scuba pants. Like 8,000 polymer for these. But they have 2,657 hypothermic insulation. And then some swim pins with 770 durability. This is the blueprint. This is the actual just item you can equip. Uh, not a whole lot else. Got some aloe saddles, though. I think I hit like six of these. And it really wasn't a ton. Oh, that's not supposed to be in there. Oh, 1300 armor. But, uh, yeah, there really wasn't, like, a ton. I got, like, an RG saddle, I got a berry saddle. I nothing, like, groundbreaking in the saddle, so. There we go. So, yeah, I got, got three good pieces of flak armor now. And I've got, oh, what was it? Hazard, I've got gloves and boots, and I've got a hat blueprint. But... But uh, nothing to prepare me for the actual radiation zone, unfortunately, which I do know where it's at, and I could... Hmm. As soon as I get a scuba tank, I can go there. It's underwater. And uh, I've got... I got Champy. Champy can get me there. But... Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty long journey underwater to get there, though, because it's a huge... It's actually under that White Mountain area, in the center of the map, but uh, it's uh, over here is the entrance. The map is still kind of filled in from whenever I was uh, doing like a test run to make sure the map was going to work and everything. Uh, but uh, this is here is all to the aberration area. It's under the mountain and it's under the Redwood area. There's actually an entrance here. To the aberration area. But, uh. Yeah, it's in the Redwoods, so. A good distance away. Now, okay, so the gardener does not pull out of the outhouses. Kind of a shame. Or not the gardener, the farmer. There's just a bunch of oil sitting there. Uh, we'll come over here to the farmer. I can, I can give him this, or I can go over here, and and drop these into a soul terminal. And this thing is set to give every crop plot within range five fertilizer. So, and that's where my dung beetles ended up at. Actually, is like I've got eight dung beetles in here, and then of course three compies, uh, two pterosaurs, a parasaur, microraptor, and a raptor. And they're producing enough food to keep everything uh, decently fertilized. And this guy, yeah, he doesn't like to fertilize non-seeded plots. But if it's a non-seeded plot and you put a seed in, he will not automatically fertilize it either. 
He will instead dump all of the fertilizer he has into three plots over here. Like, what happened to all the fertilizer, right? These. These were full, I mean, off to the bottom of the screen with fertilizer. Same with my mushroom box. I was like, what the hell, man? So, yeah, do be careful. Get everything planted and set up first. And then, then turn your, uh, your automation people on. Because, also, I didn't mention it. If there's a seed sitting in here and, you know, it's, there's no fertilizer so I won't actually seed the plot, she'll pick the damn seed up. Because according to the automation, it's an extra seed. And it's just like, you are just really, like, spindly little carrots, aren't you? But, uh, yeah, so it was me fighting with my, my people, trying to get everything going. Eh, it worked out in the end, though. But I'm thinking, uh, let's grab some food. We've actually hit the point now. Can I? Uh, are you close enough to be able to pull wood? Mm. There you go. Uh, for my storage. Oh yeah, you can. Cool. And I don't have a lot of wood left. I spent a lot on the farm, so... Uh, let's say 150 for now. And now that I have some crops and whatnot, if that stuff's within reach, then I can uh, make some of these special meals and whatnot. Song of the Sea. Maintain your oxygen better underwater. Okay, so it's poor man's Lazarus. Okay. Mama's pot pie. Uh, especially baked for your special animal companions. This will help heal whatever ails them. Interesting. Okay. Gluttonous feast. A feast to fill your dino's empty belly. Forgotten soup. Mind wipe for dinos. Uh, we can make healing tea. Or some need to make uh, some sleeping salve first. And I'll probably also some of the, uh, the waking salts. The thing is, there's not actually a lot of meals to make. Uh, we got bread, we've got cheese. You know what? I could make some cheese, I guess. Oh, it doesn't auto-craft, huh? Weird. Uh, we've got croissants, and yeah, we got bread. Bread is just dough, croissant is just dough, cheese is just milk. Uh, fried shrimp? Oh, okay. You know what? I've got shrimp. Oh, this thing's run out again. Let's just go ahead and grab a hundred for now. Yes, I know. I read Panda's talkative. Hey, you're good. Oh, you've got chitin for me. Cool. And ten levels. Nice. Yeah, he was kicking butt on my shoulder while I was in that cave. And that's auto cooking now. Okay. So yeah, I can definitely see I'm going to have to make some custom recipes for the uh, the ingredients because there doesn't seem to be a lot of uh, pre-made stuff yet. Uh, now if I go over, I think it's, is it in here or is it the cutting board? It's in the cutting board. So flour and milk. And if I come over here, I can make flour from wheat. I can't pull it because it's too far away. Okay. That is a downside. I want to make sure to leave enough room to, you know, do different things around here and, uh... Tell you what. Give me all that. Oh, there you go. You can have your beer back. And it's quite a bit of stuff. That's one thing I love about single player. Is look how quick I'm running through items here. I mean, it's just shunting them over a whole lot quicker. That and trying to force feed dinos. 
I mean, that on a server, that takes just way too long. All right. So, probably alphabetized now. Uh, wheat. Okay, let's go make some flour. My uh, kitchen counter is a little bit crowded, but oh well. So I only get one flour per. Okay, it's gonna take a lot of wheat to do anything then. All right, but we got flour. Bring that over to the cutting board, and that eh, takes two flour per. Huh? Okay, well there we go. And now here's the fun part, right? All that, and we come over to here. And bread wants five dough. I got one. Wow, the shrimp does not cook fast, does it? All right, let's go ahead and put this stuff in here, so I don't worry about it spoiling on me. Uh, let's go grab a drink here. Yeah, I can just leave that there for now. Go ahead and grab this out, though. I moved my chicken coop, so hopefully they'll quit getting stuck, and I think they keep pinning each other in the corners. Yep, they're stuck on each other again. Alright, uh, actually, one thing I should do. Offload a few extra things, and... There we go. Yeah, I don't need to take that or that with. There we go. Alright, Janonicus. Who is now up to uh, 728, well, 757 weight on a Janonicus. That's insane. <laughs> I usually never stack their weight up that much. But I'm thinking maybe an artifact cave. I'm pretty sure I know where one is. Shouldn't be all that far away from my farm either. Maybe we should call it the homestead. A little bit of farm, a little bit of ranch, you know. Oh, you. What is it with this map and these guys not wanting to stick? There we go. Hey, there's that right Anki we saw last episode. Alright, so a bunch of stegos, and I want to go this way. Um... exactly where it was at. Oh crap, I just remembered. Um yeah, lag spike. There's a there's a Hetzigoptrix in the area. Alright, so there's these set of runes here. Which is, there's actually a cave right there to get over to the side. A little tunnel, but yeah, this is just kind of basic rooms. A uh, very, very good amount of resources here, though. And oh. no, dang it! There's glitchy water in the area. That's what I think is going on. Yeah, there's a little cave back behind that waterfall. But, uh, wouldn't be a terrible place for a base if it wasn't for the constant water sound. There we go, and...
There we go. Back in my feet, finally. There is, I think it, is it over here? There's like a jungle temple. I just don't want to run around the swamp right now because, well, Capros. And... Ow. And we have a tech raptor coming after us now. Great. And now we're back. There we go. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh well. All right, so. Water's a little weird in a couple spots, like that one. Let's see. Well, there's some camera sores. Okay, we just kind of loaded it or unloaded a cave right there. Wow. That's fancy on Tarama. I just realized I brought my uh, veggie bait with me. Oops. I need to get somewhere up high so I can kind of get my bearings a little bit. Oh, there my also, it'll keep me away from that carno who's just coming in for me. No, you jerk. You stay away. See, there's green knob. And it's like every time I find this temple too, it's always by accident. No, don't stick to trees. They teleport. And hmm. Well, we can go check out Green Op again, I guess. It offers a pretty decent view of the swamp. Wow, that was spectacularly odd. So was that. What the hell are you doing? It keeps launching into weird spots whenever I jump. Is that it? Come on up. Thank you. There's a Dynakyrus fighting a Giga Titan over there. Um, yeah, I think this is the proper general area for it. Oh, yeah, I'd say so. It's somewhere within loading distance, so that's not a huge help, though. Oh. There's another Dynakyrus fighting a Giga Titan. All right, think I found it. 
So roughly 70, say 71-ish, 40.5. And this is, yeah, the complex that was causing frame rate issues when I was getting in the close to the area. Now, gonna get element shards and ambergris out of here. And. Wow, nice little echo there. There we go. There we go. Uh, is there anything up here? Nope, there is not. There is like a honeycomb of passages behind the giant monkey, so. Really? There we go. Gigantic green glowing crystals and all sorts of stuff. I'm just going to keep the gamut up so it shows up better on video. But uh, definitely a uh, awesome cave to be in. So we can go through the door or we can go through the old tree trunk here. Which, yeah, that doesn't look enticing, does it? Hole in the floor to watch out for. You know what? I think we might have to put you away for a bit. Did I bring any actual, like, melee weapons with me? No, I didn't. Remember correctly, further on... Oh, wait a second. <laughs> uh, I went around in circles a little bit, didn't I? All right, so. Holy crap. Oh, that's a nasty surprise now, isn't it? Um... Hmm. Okay. Can't fit the target area, huh? Oh, is the whole thing like that? I think it is. We just had a drop spawn in. Or the artifact did. Where, though? Right there. You see that? That's... Spike floor. And that is a red drop. And that almost killed me with an excessive amount of armor. But the thing is, I don't have to worry about it. I can't get red treasures anyway. Okay, it's plant species X seeds. Alright, let's try it again with the uh, Xenonicus, right? Uh, 
let's see. We came from here. No. Oh, crap. Well, I died. Good to know. Let's just respawn at the sleeping bag there. If this freaking... There it goes. If it would let me actually click the respawn button. All right, so for one, I've probably got, yeah, a ton of skins on me here. All right, let's go gear up for a cave. 